Hello YouTube, what is up? Today I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to figure out your ohms of your speaker or subwoofer using a, a voltmeter or a multimeter. Here I have a Simpson multimeter. You have voltage and you have your ohms. So get this set up properly first you need to put on RX1 for ohms make sure your ohms is set properly if you have a meter like this you would set it to zero zero ohms is no resistance at all and this subwoofer is a dual voice coil uh, it's a dual four ohm voice coil and it's wired in I think parallel parallel is, yeah parallel I think it's what's called Anyway, I know it's wired down to 2 ohms. I forget the technical terms, but that this actually works by putting these wires on these leads. It doesn't matter which way you hook it up, for negative and positive, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah, just gotta get this meter set. Zero ohms, and let's put this on here. And there we go. Two ohms. As long as you have the meter perfectly set, you can actually get a pretty, really accurate reading. Cause this subwoofer is exactly two ohms. That's what it's wired down to. I've been trying it with a few different other ones. I got a couple other coils. Like I tried it with this one. I have some uh, one and a half inch coils. I think they are. And I got like a two inch coil. They're all different ohm readings. It's a pretty cool little trick though. Because I have some car amplifiers cannot run 2 ohm stable on uh, bridged, so that would be kind of helpful. And uh, considering a lot of speakers kind of like, um, this is a perfect example. These ones don't have any stamped anything on them. They don't say the ohm readings. I kind of think that this one actually doesn't either. It's only got uh, some numbers and crap like that. So there is actually no ohm on it. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to somebody, and thanks for watching.